Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Icy Monster, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Now, today I am playing some Call of Duty Ghost and playing some Hardcore Domination. And I got this gameplay quite a while ago, and I think it might be my highest killing gameplay. And I'm using support streaks. I think I'm rocking UAV, Ballistic Vest, and then Maz Rocket Launcher. Which, guys, if you haven't tried the Maz Rocket Launcher, it is trippy as fuck. And it's kind of hard to use, but it is a lot of fun. I think I get a few double kills with it, and I think there might be a triple kill in this gameplay. I can't quite remember. It is probably the most fun streak that you will experience in Call of Duty Ghost, because all the other streaks are just boring and no one cares about them. But that's enough for the gameplay, and just enjoy me dominating on these people. I think I end up going about like 65 and 20-ish. So pretty good gameplay, but not not that impressive. Pretty high kills for support. But that's enough about that. So yesterday, Valve was announcing the new Steam Machine specs, sort of, and prices, sort of. I mean, they gave us a generalization of what they're going to be and how much RAM and how what Intel processor, or AMD, and CPUs and GPUs and all that good stuff. But the problem is, is that... I don't know. For me, I thought the whole point of having a Steam machine was being able to have that PC architecture where you have the Steam sales and all that, but at the ease of buying a console. Now, if you guys know, I mean, you know consoles. It's not like there's a real difference in hardware when they go into a new upgrade. Sure, the Xbox One, the version 1.0 is going to be different than the Xbox One 2.0. You know, there's going to be another version that's slimmer, maybe runs cooler, or some weird stuff like that. But generally, it's not going to run differently. And that's the problem I see with the new Steam machines, is that they're having different GPUs, different processors, different... Um, RAM, different amounts of storage, people are going to be confused. And that was the whole reason that I thought they were building S Steam machines, was to have that awesome PC architecture where you have Steam sales and the ease of upgrade and all that good stuff, but in a simple box. And I was thinking that they were probably going to have like one basic Steam machine where it runs games, but it still kind of looks like console quality. And then they would have, like, their Steam Machine Pro version, where it would have, like, the 780 Ti Sly build with a i7 processor that just absolutely shits on all consoles. But that's not the case. And the problem that I'm seeing right now with a lot of these Steam Machines is that their pricing is basically the same as a gaming PC. Um, that you would buy from like Alienware or Asus or those types of companies. Um, I was reading or I was listening to a video and one of the Steam Machine prices was $1,100. And it had very similar components to what a gaming laptop had that was only $1,200. And it seemed to make so much more sense to go for the gaming laptop because it also is a laptop. And having those functionalities of a normal PC is really valuable. Definitely worth the extra $100. Um, another thing is, the problem with the Steam Machine operating system is that it's a Linux-based system. Which, I, I've never used Linux, so I don't know what the problems are with that and such. But, the fact is, is that not a lot of games run on Linux compared to Windows. Um, so, when you have a Windows-based machine running a steam game there's going to be like i don't know thousands of selections but on the linux 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 couldn't say that word side you are basically limiting that to i don't know a thousand games which is still a ton of games for a platform but it's still a factor to consider and the other problem is is that the playstation 4 and xbox one were built kind of just like PCs. They run on a similar architecture, which is great because that makes it even easier for developers to program for and build games on the new next-gen consoles. I guess they're current-gen now, which is kind of weird to think about. Um, and it seems weird that they would want to create a Steam Machine with a Linux because that just makes another operating system that 
they have to program for. And I don't think de developers are going to want to do that. So it seems it seems a little strange to me that they would be going with a Linux-based system. But maybe it's for the best. I don't know if it has a significant um, upgrade over Windows. I know that apparently I've been looking into building my own PC. I'm going to make a video about that probably right after this one because I'm just eking to talk about it. But basically I've heard that like Windows 7 is not exactly a great operating system as far as like gaming because apparently it uses a lot of um, processing power or something and it's just not as optimized as Windows 8 which I'm not a huge fan of Windows 8 but if a game's gonna run better on that I'll definitely get that you know and I heard that Windows 8.1 fixed a lot of issues that Windows 8 had uh, with crashes and bugs and such so I'm excited to do that and so I don't know, I just can't get past the, past the fact that the Steam Machines are basically a limited gaming PC. I mean, you might as well spend the extra $100 or $200 or... You can even build them for less. That's, that's, the, that's the part that really just doesn't even make sense. Um, now guys, I've never built a PC, but I'm going to be doing that over the summer. And I'm going to build a one hell of a rig... Um, I'm looking at, like, probably a $1,600 rig, maybe $1,800. Then I'm looking at monitors that are, like, $500 to $800 just because I want to have something that's, like, just phenomenal. But it, I've watched videos, and it doesn't seem that hard to build a PC. And I think that's what they're going after is the people who are afraid to get their hands dirty, you know, the people who aren't willing to put together a PC, but want that PC architecture. And so I guess in that sense, it makes, it's kind of a viable option, but at that point, you might as well order like an Alienware and pay the overpriced thing. Um, I was looking at one of the machines, and it was a $1,500 machine, and I thought it was really weird. I was like, that doesn't seem right. Those parts aren't that that powerful. It was running an i5 Intel processor, and it was running um, like a, I think it was a, a NVIDIA GTX um, 770. I think it was a 770, and it was like $1,500, and it only had a one terabyte hard drive. And I'm just thinking to myself, what? I can build a PC for that same price that's going to have a 780? GTX, a i7 processor, a motherboard that I know I can overclock, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, not only was I going to have a 2 terabyte hard drive, I was also going to have a 120 gigabyte SSD for boot up. So I feel like the Steam machines are just going to be a total flop because no one who's in PC gaming is going to want to get a Steam Machine because it's just not a very good option. You're always going to get the better price when you build your own machine, buying the components, putting it together. And I guess, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's because these points are so important. You, I bought a laptop two years ago, and that's the laptop that I'm still using. It's a Toshiba satellite. It's got an i5 processor, 6 gigs of RAM. It's actually a pretty decent laptop for the price, and I've, I've gotten a bunch of use out of it. But one thing I've realized from having this laptop is that I'm never going to buy another laptop in my life. And that also has to do with the fact that I feel like tablets are a way better option than laptops. And that when you really want the power, you have to build your own PC. Because I was looking at another build. So let's say I went for an Alienware pre-built PC. That one was going to cost like 2500 where I could build it myself and have the enjoyment of a project. It was only like 1700 So I guess that's the point, is if you want a Steam Machine, build your own, dual boot, you can, it's not that hard, but you can have an operating system. So you could have like a dual boot, like a Steam operating system and a Windows, and then you get the best of both worlds. So I hate to point out that the Steam Machines are terrible, but the hype has been for nothing. So don't buy one, they're a waste of money. Unless you are really bad with tech, there's absolutely no reason to buy one. Anyways, guys, this has been Icy Monster. I hope you enjoyed the video, and 
please support it by leaving a like rating if you did. And I'll catch you next time. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much and hopefully my talk wasn't above your head. But I just had to talk about this because I've been frustrated while reading everything about the new Steam Machines. And I had to make a little bit of a rant. But I'll catch you next time. Have a nice day. Peace out. Boy! Link enabled.